Welcome into Unbreakable, a mental health podcast with Jay Glazer. I'm your host, Jay Glazer. And, you know, the guest I have him right now um, probably doesn't know how special he is to me. And, and the reason why I say that is you just meet some people along the way in your journey, in my mental health journey, that for me, I just go, oh, man, this guy just resonates with me. And, and I, I feel like there's help around the corner for me. And that's who he is. His name is Jim Quick. Uh, he is a brain coach, a podcaster, writer, entrepreneur, just came out with Limitless, uh, a book, which is a, a bestseller a, a across everything. And, you know, Jim, I, I appreciate you joining us. But before I let you go, I got one last question here for you, brother. And this yeah. has been just amazing, enlightening. And yeah. again, you and I just have this bond and I appreciate it. Um, I ask all my guests this. Give me your unbreakable moment. Give me that moment that, man, something should have broken you, could have, didn't. And you came through the other side of that tunnel. And as a result, you're and you're just stronger for the rest of your life. And you've already given us so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story, but is there another moment we haven't hit yet? Yeah, I mean, um, whether it happens to my, to my my brain injury or my, my you know, some sleep deprivation experiment, which was almost as deadly. Um, I'll give you one right. that I don't share. Um, all right. So when, remember when I said I, I learned these skills when I was 18 years old and I was in school and I lost all this weight and I found out that I wanted to tutor and help other people because I really think that we're here to, to pay it forward. Right. Yep, much, much like yourself. Yep. And um, that really fulfills our, our heart and our spirit, but I didn't know how to do that. And I was walking along, um, you know, around the lecture centers. I saw this room not being used on a Thursday night. Oh, okay. I definitely don't share this story. Um, and I was like, okay, next Thursday, I'm going to put five or 10 people in that room and teach them for free a couple hours. And then maybe afterwards, one or two of them want to be tutored by me, right? And then um, they work, it works out for them. They get these skills and I get to have money to eat because I was very underweight. I lost all this, you know, all these, all this weight. And um, so I don't even know anything about business. So, but I go back to my room and I take a piece of paper, an eight by 11, and I take a magic marker and I write, Free speed reading, memory tips, get better grades, less time, uh, the, the room, Thursday, 7 o'clock, right? And I, the next morning, I just make some photocopies on the way to class and put it on some bulletin boards. Not a lot, but just, you know, around campus. Fast forward to Thursday, 7 o'clock, I'm walking down the hall to go to this room, and I just, I'm praying, Jay, that only like five people just show up, just five people. And I turn the corner, and there's a crowd of people outside the classroom, now, honest to God, my first initial thought was, wow, I hope whatever's going on in that room ends soon so I could do my thing. Right? <laughs> this is incredible. And I um, and I go to there. I can't even get inside because there's this tall kid in, in, in the doorway. And I'm like tapping on like what's going on. And he's like, there's a speed reading memory class. Oh, man, I'm getting tears right now, man. <laughs> no, no, dude, dude. It, gets, it gets worse. <laughs> I'm tearing up here, what, dude. <laughs> what happened is I say like, Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> what are the chances there's another speed reading memory brain performance class in the same room at the same time on the same date as mine? And I push my way in and there's a crowd of people there. I mean, people standing in the back, all the seats are taken and there's nobody teaching. And it takes my slow mind all that time to realize that they're there for me, right? And I freak out because I'm 18 years old right? I look really young. I'm wearing t-shirts and shorts. I look like I'm 15 or, or, or 14. <laughs> There's teaching assistants, graduate students in the room. And, and I have nothing prepared to talk about, but even worse, I've never public spoke before because it's my greatest fear. Remember, like I had learning challenges. So I'd right. always, you know, if I had to give a book report, I would do the book report, but if I had to talk about it, I would lie to the teacher and say, I didn't do it. And I would throw it out on the way out of class and take a zero. Because I was so phobic. Like a lot of people are nervous of public speaking, but I can't even breathe. And so I can't breathe. My heart's beating out of my chest. I'm sweating like crazy. So I leave. And, Whoa. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have said I performed. That's not what happened. I was so wow. embarrassed. I left. And I can't even go back to my dorm room because I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get stuff from my, you know, get teased by my roommates, you know, like, you know, for what, for being, right. you know, a coward. And so I go to the, the, this fountain and I just kind of meditate, close my eyes and breathe. And, and I hear my mom's voice and I won't tell you what she says, but she, it, the point was like a hundred people there, by the way, there was 110 people when I did a count in that room, Whoa. Not, not five or 10, 110. And so she says, wow, all these people came out 
that you promise to help them and you're not, you're disappointing them and you're disappointing me. And I would do anything, you know, for, for, for my mom. And, and I'm doing this walking meditation to my dorm room and I stop and I take one step back to the classroom. And a huge lesson for me here is that one step in another direction can completely change your destination, right? Or your, some people call it their destiny. Mm -hmm. And I go back in that classroom and I honestly don't remember outside of apologizing, you know, for starting late, what I said, but, um, you know, I, after two hours, I come out of this trance. I don't know if you've ever done this, like you're speaking or you're on camera and you're just like, it just kind of flows through you. Yeah. You're on. Yeah. Yeah. And when I'm done though, I come back into like, oh my God, what had just happened? And I, I don't even know what to say. I was like, you know, if you want help with this, I need about 10 hours with you. I get $30 an hour because that's what I got teaching tennis back in, you know, like in, uh-huh. in high school. Um, you know, I'll be in the student center tomorrow at noon if you have any questions. And I swear to you, Jay, a hundred people got up and they all left. Not one person talked to me. And it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm in a classroom by myself and I feel two emotions. I feel totally confused. Like what, what just even happened tonight? And then the, my other emotion was I totally exhausted because my whole fear every single day of being at school, besides being bullied was I would be like, I would have to talk, right? I never said two words in the classroom for all my school. And um, so I feel so mentally, physically exhausted. I fall asleep on the carpet and the best sleep of my life. And I get woken up the next morning by the class coming in at eight o'clock. I'm drooling wow. on myself and, you know, it's very embarrassing, but I, I run, go back to my room. I, I shower, go to breakfast, go to class, 12 o'clock comes. And I was like, oh, I promised to be in the student center. And I go there hoping just one person didn't think I was a complete idiot. And when I turn, get there, that whole group was waiting for me. Oh my God. And, and at the end of 90 minutes, maybe 71 of the hundred kids signed up for a program that didn't even exist. Wow. You know, like at, at $30 for 10 hours, at $300 a person. And now wow. I didn't get this because I didn't know kids had an ATM card because I didn't have a, you right. know, any money and they could just take out $300. And so I'm not even 19 years old and I have $21,000 cash in my backpack. And I think about my mentor, what am I going to do with this? Part of it I use to eat because I was starving. Right, 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 right. Um, but the other part, I use it to fund my real education and I travel around the world learning everything that I've, that I've learned, mm. you know, um, and that's when one of my students Amazing. of the 71 kids was this college freshman who read 30 books in 30 days and saved her mom's wow. life, you know, but the reason I bring this Incredible. up Incredible. is like when I was debating, going back to that room, like I was shaking and I had felt so much fear and so much doubt so much in, you know, all the insecurities and all the voices right. in my head about being broken and not enough you know, was, was like there. And I really feel that, you know, I, whoever's listening to this right now, that I believe that there's a version of ourself that's patiently waiting. And the goal is we just, we show up that we do the best we can with what we have, you know, every single day until we're introduced to that person, you know, and there are people that are light and mentors like yourself that help kind of shine some light yeah. in, in a dim world, you know, and, and help us to believe in ourselves again. Brother, that was amazing, man. That was a way to finish off a podcast. I really appreciate that. It's like, man, you made me cry there. You made my goosebumps come up, my truth bumps. It's just incredible. I'm really, really proud that I get to share this journey with you and, and continue to learn from you. And we could, you know, you and I can continue to be of service to people. So yeah, I like really appreciate you, man, for, for you and for everybody else out there. Let's all keep walking this walk together. I absolutely love it. Thank you also for making this possible. And I would challenge everybody just to do one thing. If they could take a screenshot of whatever they're consuming this, you know, in whatever platform, you know, audio or video, and they maybe could post it and tag both of us yep. and maybe share like one thing that, that you learned here. Cause I think the best way to learn something is to teach it to somebody else. So I'd be fascinated. Maybe, maybe it was like the meds RX and maybe, right. or maybe it's something that they're going to do one yep. small, simple step. Like, hey, I'm going to do five minutes of meditation. Yeah. You know, I'm going to try that. Or I'm going to look into those blueberries or some of those, right. uh, this, uh, you know, those it's fish oils or, or what have you. And then tag us so we get to see it. And I'll, um, as a thank you, I'll repost some of the ones I, because you'll tag us, we get to see it. Absolutely. And I'll, um, I'll send out three copies of Limitless to just three people, oh, just as, amazing. just to keep it. Yeah. Just to, as a thank you. Yeah. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. I can't thank you enough. And love you, yes. brother.